Okay, we have uh, one more pranayama to learn. It's called Shittali Pranayama. It's described in the Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Chapter 2, Sutra 57. <coughs> if you have the text in front of you, ignore the text between square brackets that says protruding the tongue a little bit outside the lips. That's not correct and has been added to the text later by people who do not understand that pranayama is energy control. So let's read the sutra without that part of the text. Then Sitali is described. Draw energy into the tongue and perform kumbhaka as before. Then the intelligent practitioner should slowly release the energy through the nostrils. The intelligent practitioner, that is the student who is learning pranayama properly from somebody who has been initiated into yoga properly. Satmarama, with most exercises, gives a little hint that you cannot learn this from a book and you have to learn it from somebody who is initiated into the secrets of yoga. So he will say, the intelligent practitioner will do this or that, or he will say, this must be learned under the guidance of a guru or a teacher or a CD. Sitali means cooling, and cooling of what? Where is the heat in the body? In Manipura Chakra. Manipura Chakra is the fire center. The fire center is the location of ego and also ambition is located in this, uh, in this chakra. Um, you probably know that when you have too much ambition, when you are uh, very stressed, very worried, you develop uh, intestinal problems, problems with your stomach, with your um, digestion, with the digestive organs. These are all fire organs. Shitali Pranayama is designed to to cool the fire, to deal with these fire diseases. And it does that by putting out the fire with water, which is the chakra below Manipura chakra. Svadhisthana chakra is the water center. The tongue here is the representative of Svadhisthana Chakra because the Shnanandriya of Svadhisthana Chakra, the organ of perception, Shnanandriya, is the taste. And taste is in your mouth with your tongue. It's a very clever exercise that is just 100 times better than a breathing exercise. Normally, when you let Shiva in through Chandra Bindu, you do not direct it anywhere. You just take it in and it will spread throughout your body. But to activate Svadhisthana Chakra, you concentrate on the taste. Focus on the tongue. Then when you take Shiva in, you direct the Shiva flow to the tongue. So this is the only exercise where you actually direct energy to a certain place, to a certain location. 
other exercises, whether it's Shiva or Shakti, you take it in without being concerned where it's going. But here, for the purpose of activating the water center, you direct it to the tongue. What happens when you do that is you activate <coughs> Swadhisthana Chakra, the energy expands, the energy that expands rises up. So, literally, the water douses the fire. The fire of Manipura Chakra is tempered by the energy of the water center rising up and enveloping Manipura Chakra. It's, of course, it's very subtle, but it's a marvelous exercise to deal with stress and all the problems that it can cause with your digestive organs, which can be very serious. People with very serious uh, fire problems, they can burn a hole in their stomach or develop uh, terrible in, uh, uh, diseases uh, in, the, in the organs, the liver, the spleen, the gallbladder, the long, in, the, the long intestines, the short intestines, the, I mean the colon. So th this is a special or a specialized exercise. First we had Surya Bedana to deal with infections, with heat. Then we had Ujjayi Pranayama to deal with chronic diseases diseases where there is something wrong with the structure of uh, your, your, the materials that you are built of, so genetic often. Um, then we had Shitkari, which deals with oxidation, with exhaustion. And now we have one that deals with fire problems, which many people suffer from in a high pace and stressed, stressed out society. Sutra 58, this Kumbhaka named Shitali destroys diseases of the abdomen and spleen and also dis and, and other diseases such as also fever, biliousness, hunger, thirst and the bad effects of poisons. So you see I already mentioned it's dealing with everything related to um, digestion, which is the function, among other things of course, of Manipura Chakra. So we put out the fire with water, literally. Not with fluid water, but energy water. Samana Prana. Oh, I haven't explained how it works, <laughs> only the first part. You take in Shiva energy and you direct it to the tongue. Then you have Kumbhaka. Then you let both Shiva and Shakti out at the same time. That is mentioned in the last sentence of Sutra 57, where Svatmarama tells us, then the intelligent practitioner should slowly release the energy through the nostrils. He uses plural there for the nostrils, the sun and the moon gate, meaning both energies should be expelled at the same time in the last stage of your pranayama. After the pranayama, we repeat uh, Sambhavi Mudra again. In the first module of the advanced course, 40 classes, Sambhavi Mudra is repeated time and time again, which indicates the value of Sambhavi Mudra. Most exercises rotate. Sambhavi Mudra, however, is done for an entire um, module, which is as long as this course, 40 classes, 20 days in class. So, Shitali Pranayama, 
Sambhavi Mudra and the rest of the time concentration on Nada. Questions? Okay.